And uh, I thank the honourable member for, for his question. That is obviously something we will be addressing. We will be addressing that at the appropriate time, not an inappropriate one, uh, but an appropriate one. But uh, the honourable member, Mr. Mr. Speaker, the honourable member can uh, speak. The honourable member can rest assured that we will, at the appropriate time, be doing something uh, that's good and sensible, not bad and insensible. <laughs> and I think uh, I think the Australian public has had enough of bad, insensible things done by Labor uh, when the, when they were in office for the 13 years. 13 years they were in office, <laughs> which they uh, could have done something that wasn't idiotic and stupid, but uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr Speaker, they chose instead to do them uh, at, at an inappropriate time. <laughs> Mr Speaker, the Honourable Member for Brand is, is looking at me. Mr Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I'm not going to, uh, Mr Speaker, I'm not going to say exactly what those good things, those sensible things are that we'll be doing at the appropriate time. That's a matter for Cabinet to decide, and uh, I would be uh, breaching confidence as if I were to trot out to you willy-nilly uh, the, uh, the detail of what we've discussed and the privacy of our in-camera conversations. I'm not going to betray the, uh, the Prime Minister, as I'm sure the uh, Honourable Member for Hotham did during uh, his 13 years. Oh, oh, come on, oh, come on. The Honourable Member for Hotham. Oh, Speaker. The Honourable Member for Hotham will yeah. sit down. Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not about to uh, stab the uh, Prime Minister in the back by doing that. Hack away at his skull with an axe, <laughs> Speaker, and eat him. And uh, I don't think anybody here uh, is seriously uh, asking me to do that. I'm not going to stand here, Speaker. I'm not going to stand here dressed as a Viking and uh, ride about this chamber on a unicycle, as, uh, as the Honourable Member for Kingston no doubt did during his time, Speaker. During his time, the Honourable Member for Kingston will come to order. Sick and fed up to the gills with the sort of mismanagement, the sort of stupid, insane, ill-timed things that were decided under the Labor government yeah. that drove unemployment to the highest rate since Federation <laughs> and, uh, Mr Speaker, uh, rainfall to its highest recorded level since the Depression. <laughs> but, uh, Mr Speaker, we can promise, we can promise that the Australian people one thing that Labor could never provide in its 13 years in office, its 13 years of hard labour. <laughs> and that's the mess we're cleaning up now, the, uh, the Beasley black hole, the Beasley quasar, <laughs> Mr Beasley's own personal white giant. But uh, we can promise, uh, Mr Speaker, we can promise that the Australian people will get good, unstupid decisions made punctually at reasonable, sane times which reflect the mandate we have been given. Yeah. And uh, in answer to the uh, second part of the Honourable Member's question, no.